Hi YouTube, Irish Bill here today. I've had a lot of you guys asking me how to pack a Kibler knapsack. Well, unfortunately, I don't own a Kibler knapsack, but one of my friends here does. This is Enos Hudspeth. He's going to show you how he packs his Kibler knapsack. Now, this is his way and not just the regular standard way everybody should go by. This is just what he feels is most comfortable for him based on his years of experience using a knapsack like this. Why don't you go ahead and take it away and show us what the first step is. Well, my first step is I'm going to start with this compartment because this is the part that's going to be against my back. I want to make sure it's nice and smooth and no lumps or bumps because it's going to be very uncomfortable otherwise. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my uh, flannel shirt here. Go ahead and fold that up. It doesn't have to be perfect. And so you got another shirt inside. Yeah, I have a too. spare shirt in there also. You give me a little head start here. And I'm going to go ahead and stick my socks in. Just try to keep it as flat as possible. Otherwise, it will be very uncomfortable. Now, would you also want to make sure you have your weight evenly distributed then too? Yes, so that would definitely be a plus also. Okay. And then I have my housewife and other personal items. And I keep my ground cloths rolled separately because if you're on the march and it starts raining and you don't have quick access to it, you're going to be wet. So I definitely like to keep this separate, and what I do is I do a meal collar with that. Okay, now I have all these contents in. I'm going to go ahead and button it shut here. Okay, now the next step is to fold my blanket. And if you don't fold it just right, it's either going to be too large or too wide. So you got to make sure, and it takes a little practicing to get your fold down just right. And with the different size blankets then too, that's all yes. going to affect how you Yeah, fold it. you're going to have to just, you know, practice. practice. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half. I have a nice double woven blanket I love very much. And I'm going to do like a slight fold here. Divide it up into thirds. Yep. Okay. And then uh, fold in half and fold in thirds. Right. Yep. And I'm just going to go ahead and... Are you going to open your flaps here and put it in this? No, um, usually I'll just go ahead and put it right in there because it saves me time also. And if you're in a hurry of getting ready, you know, it's just good to be able to do it very quickly. And plus, I'll, I'm going to have this available to me. So if it rains, I will be dry, you know. Right. So it'll be pretty much protected. But you just do that so you can easily pull out your blanket real yeah. quick. And it saves time getting ready. Sometimes you're in a hurry. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach my cup to it. I just go ahead and put the straps through the handle. Then I gotta kind of flip it around. And there we go. One pack Kibler pack. Any uh, tips and uh, tricks on putting it on? Um. Well, I just start with uh. One arm, just kind of fling it around. There you go. And another tip I have when you get all your accoutrements on, make sure you do your canteen last. So we had a little bit of a stop here because we had a little bit of a difference of opinion. Uh, my friend um, Enos here and I, we both agree that having your canteen last on your on your body is a lot easier. It's easier to get off you uh, if you need to take a drink. I like it better because I've tried it with having it underneath and with all the straps and it's a pain in the butt for me to get to. But my friend Otho over here has a different opinion. Now why is that? Why would you not want to put your canteen on last? It's all a matter of personal preference. I like mine underneath when I'm wearing a double bag simply because it's stationary. It's not going to go sliding around. I can make sure it stays behind me. If we get into some mischief, it's not going to be behind me. Or it's going to be, excuse me, it's going to be behind me and not going to be flopping around where I don't need it. And I can see the reasoning with that because I don't know how many times I've well, actually gone out to, uh, you know, like I'll be during a battle or something and I'll all of a sudden have to go to the double quick and then my canteen's going all exactly. over the place. So, you know, a time where you're stationary and you're going to have plenty of time to drink leisurely, it's easy. Right. You come to a stream, time to fill up your canteen. That's a wonderful thing about the buckle strap. Right. It's off in a second. You pull it out from under the strap. Which I don't have the buckle strap. And I don't have a buckle strap. Uh, I do have this weekend a strap that has a button, a leather button on my strap though, but generally if I carry my federal canteen, I have a regular cotton uh, strap on it. So. But 
like I said, it's all a matter of difference of opinion. And when it really comes down to a lot of the stuff, like how you pack your knapsack, how, how you wear your accoutrements, I mean, there's certain ways on how you're supposed to be wearing your accoutrements. But when it comes to something as such as the issue here with the canteen, it's really all a matter of difference of opinion. Whatever works best for you, you know. I'm sure it took you a few reenactments and a few times to be able to figure oh. out, I like it better underneath there. Same thing with me, we have my canteen on the outside. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt having it flopping around though, but I'd rather, I'd rather deal with having it flopping around than having it in so. And I've been marching where it started raining, so put the ground cloth, and I couldn't get to it. So I didn't have easy access, it was raining, and I was wet. So I'm going to keep it separate and uh, easy access. Yeah. I. Oh, I don't care. Sorry about the tractor. Yeah, that's a tractor going out right now. Bye. Don't get the tractor. Focus on us. So. All right. So today we had not only got to show you how to pack this Kibler knapsack, but I also we got a little bit of uh, insight from a few other different reenactors just besides myself here uh, for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to my videos, and if you like the video, like them. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Irish Bill out.